The murder of a New Smyrna Beach woman has devastated family, friends, and her co workers. 64 year old Darlene Robertson was found dead in her home on DeSoto Drive this morning by her son. Right now, police are looking for her vehicle and her killer. West News Claire Metz is live from the scene with the latest. Claire? Yeah, Jim, once police established that Ms. Robertson, who lived in this house alone, was dead and the victim of a homicide, they cordoned off the area and waited to go in with a search warrant. They just got the search warrant within the last 30 minutes or so, and county crime scene investigators are inside collecting the physical evidence of murder. The son happened to be in the area working, so he came over here to check on her and found her. The most horrific thing that could happen to a son or daughter did. When Darlene Robertson didn't show up for work, a colleague contacted family. And Robertson's son, who's been on scene with other heartbroken relatives and friends, found his mother in her home, no doubt a crime victim. There's some uh, wounds to her midsection area and some blunt force trauma to her head area. The victim's injuries to the abdomen, according to police, are cuts or stab wounds. Police say Robertson was last seen alive about nine last night and they're looking for her grandson Patrick Campbell. He is not being called a suspect or even a person of interest at this point but police want to talk to him because a bike they believe belongs to Campbell was at the house. Police are also looking for the victim's car which should be here but isn't. A statewide bulletin is out for a 2006 tanner beige color Nissan Altima with Florida tag number 803 M, B as in boy, W. She's a very nice lady. We enjoyed her company. Woody McKay and his wife live just across the street, friendly with the victim, very upset with this disturbing turn of events in a quiet riverfront community. Very scary to us. We thought it was a very good neighborhood, and it is a very good neighborhood, but uh, these things happen. McKay has surveillance cameras, some of which show the front of the victim's home. Detectives are reviewing them for evidence. The vehicle is, is really what we'd like the public's help in trying to locate. That's, that's the biggest thing, because we, you know, we knew know that that vehicle was here and, and we know it's missing now. And again, to reiterate, that vehicle is a 2006 tan or beige in color Nissan Altima with Florida license tag 803MBW. Crime scene investigators inside the house, we hope to have new information for you within the next hour. We're live in New Smyrna Beach, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.